you meet us loving God at the place of the skull when we had hoped for a peaceful garden. You meet us in our defeats when we had hoped for victory. You meet us in our temptations when we had hoped for clear and easy decisions. You meet us here, O oh God, in this time of pain. We need you, for you come near to where we are and what we fear. Our raw humanity you wear, our limits to the tomb you bear, till these, redeemed by love, you share. The hymn number 349, In the Cross of Christ I Glory.
God, all our sin, all our hatred, all our violence, all our apathy, all our convenient neglect came together in that dark hour when they snuffed out the light of your goodness, when they crucified your Son, our Lord, and we come to remember. O oh God, all your love, all your compassion, all your goodness, all your forgiveness come together in that life and that dying, your undying and unending love, when they crucified your Son, our Lord, and we remember. O oh God, you hold a mirror before us and we see love and we see hate. We see crucifiers and we see the crucified. Forgive us where we have crucified love, your love for ourselves, for others, for you. Do not abandon us where we have abandoned ourselves, where others have abandoned us, where we know the pain of crucifixion and rejection and being forsaken. Take us from the cross to hope and new beginning. Amen.
reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, verses 14 to 23. And when the hour came, he sat at table and the disciples with him. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this, and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is broken for, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise the cup after supper, saying, This cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But behold, the hand of him who betrays me is with me on the table. For the Son of Man goes on as it has been determined, but woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to question one another, which of them it was that would do this.
We continue reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, verses 39 to 45. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them, about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping.
And as they led him away, they seized one Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. And there followed him a great multitude of the people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never gave suck. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified him, and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments, and the people stood by watching, but the rulers scuffed at it, scoffed at them and said, huh, He who saved himself, let, he, let him save, he who saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This has been a very moving act of worship and we thank those who have led us into the meaning of Good Friday. Thank you to Jennifer and Katrina and Ursula and the members of the String Quartet. It has been a very moving experience and we shall think of this throughout the day as we record what happened so many years ago. We sing the hymn number 342, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross.
the cross with all who weep. Lend your support to those weighed down by loss and pain. We will offer the water of life to those who thirst, the cup of salvation to those broken and bewildered. When your discipleship is challenged, claim it. Bear taunts and scorn with understanding and faith. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forevermore. Amen.